Hi everyone, my name is Katie Guy. Um, I'm a member of the social science cohort. Um, something that I thought was really interesting while watching my peers' reflection videos for this assignment was that their experiences sort of seem to reflect what Mark, Prinsky talks, Mark Prinsky talks about in his 2001 piece, Digital Immigrants, Digital Natives, which is that digital natives really prefer to um, learn skills, learn how to use things with hands-on experience. Um, even though I do identify as a digital native, I um, sort of have a different experience with technology. It's not necessarily intuitive for me. Um, so this assignment was really great because it allowed me to log on and watch videos to learn about the different features of Google Classroom rather than just uh, going on Google Classroom and randomly clicking different buttons, which is what I usually do and then fail miserably. Um, in terms of what I did here that I don't do um, when creating lesson plans is that I think five out of six of my resources were just YouTube videos. And with my students, I really try to include um, elements of UDL, like um, multimodal expression and representation, so I typically wouldn't just teach using videos. I know that's not accessible to everyone. I try to make sure that students have the opportunity to read and listen and speak. Um, I think that's really valuable. I also think that this lesson wasn't as linear as my uh, lesson plans typically are for my students, but something I, I think I was able to accomplish here was that I try to um, express like a, um, some overarching theme. Um, and here in this lesson that was communication both between teacher and student and teacher and community. Um, when lesson planning, I think I really have to think about equitable access um, and whether that has been realized in my community, which is one of the ISTE standards. Um, and what I can do in the meantime to ensure that my students um, have a shot at getting a good grade in my class, even if they don't have um, readily available access to Wi-Fi or computers and the like. Um, and the very last thing was that this assignment really allowed me to focus on my own teaching philosophy and priorities as a teacher. I agree with Oblinger and Oblinger that technology shouldn't replace face-to-face -face interaction between students and teachers. Um, I don't want to use Google Classroom as a crutch. Um, it's not sufficient just to send updates. I'm really about those um, phone calls and meeting with the community.